On the occasion of the KCCI's Conclave 2023, we are privileged to have with us Shri Harish Bijur, CEO Harish Bijur Consults Incorporation, Bangalore, to address and motivate us to take us on a journey into the fascinating world of building and promoting strong brands. Whether you're an entrepreneur, a professional, or someone simply interested in understanding the secrets behind successful brands, this session is surely going to be one of a kind and worth every minute of your time. Before we get to know more about our speaker for today, I request the audience to please note that a phone number will be displayed on the screen during his session. You can send your questions, if any, to this WhatsApp number, and we will request sir to take it up after his session. I, I now request Mr. Anantesh V. Prabhu, convener of the KCCI Conclave 2023, and our vice president, to give us an insight into the conclave and also introduce our speaker to the gathering. A very good evening to one and all. It's rightly said that uh, knowledge is power, and this power of knowledge, when rightly used in business, can be a game changer. Keeping this thought in mind, KCCI, with a view to empower businesses and help them grow, conceptualized the Members' Day Conclave, wherein doyens and captains of the business world were invited and were asked to share their knowledge, experience, and expertise on a host of subjects that relate to industry and business. Being a flagship event of our KCCI, the members conclave in, in its fourth year. In the first year, we had Mr. A. Velumani, founder and CMD of Thyrocare Technologies Limited, Mumbai. He spoke about his success story, the challenges he faced, and how he overcame them. In the second, we had the ever-smiling Shri K. Ullas Kamath, the Joint Managing Director, Jyoti Labs Limited, he spoke about how family-run businesses can scale up and rise to the next level. In the third edition, we had Shri Srinivas V. Dempo, chairman, the Dempo Group of Companies, Goa. He spoke about having a risk appetite, embrace change, and evolve in business. This year, our focus is on branding. Branding, as we all know, is a powerful tool that can help build trust with customers, increase market share, and drive sales. To take us to this enchanting world of branding, we have the acclaimed brand guru and founder, Harish Bijur Consults Incorporated, Mr. Harish Bijur, and I consider it my privilege to introduce him to this August gathering. Mr. Harish Bijur is a brand thinker a practitioner operating out of Bengaluru. He runs a unique boutique consulting outfit branded Harish Bijur Consults Incorporated, a brand name that has a consulting presence across the markets of Hong Kong, Seattle, London, Istanbul, Dubai, and of course India. Mr. Harish has spent his career across the aggressive realms of FMCG, telecom, and consumer durables. He is considered a marketing practitioner and thinker who is ahead of the consumer thinking curve year on year. Mr. Harish is a public speaker who speaks to corporate audiences across the globe in the areas of motivation, people management, brands, marketing, and business at large. He has spoken to corporate audiences across the world for 15,812 hours to date. <laughs> Mr. Harish teaches at the Indian School of Business, Hyderabad and Mohali, in addition to semesters at overseas business schools in the US and Europe. He has been teaching at the ISB for the past 20 years. He is an active practitioner, consultant, and academic rolled into one. Sir has worked with Hindustan uh, Unilever Limited, Tata Global Beverages Limited, and Zip Telecom over his two decades long distinguished corporate career. 
Mr. Harish has recently published a book titled Marketing Trends, Smart Insights into the World of Indian Business, a serious book that's written in a style that's distinctly young and empty wish. He is currently involved in the second book on core branding. Mr. Harish has simultaneously been commissioned to write a book on customer service mechanisms at play in contemporary marketing contexts. Mr. Harish is currently and actively involved in research relating to rural consumer behavior, rural retail networks, and trade mechanisms at play. The current research exercise he is involved in spans over a six-year period and covers 84,850 consumers across India. Mr. Harish has published papers extensively on the subjects relating to strategic marketing, branding, consumer behavior, retail networks, rural marketing, marketing research, and trend analysis. Mr. Harish is currently working on the bleeding edge brand and marketing work that relates to Metaverse and Web 3.0. With this brief introduction, I present to you the numero uno, the rock star of the world of branding, Mr. Harish Bijur. Over to you, sir. Okay, uh, ladies and gentlemen, sorry for that hiccup. Uh, what's really going to happen is we are going to get another laptop which is going to come by and uh, I'll hopefully be able to set up a presentation for you and speak to you for the next a dangerous set of minutes. I won't tell you how long I'm going to speak uh, because you'll get scared. Uh, and I know very clearly that I'm the only entity that's standing between cocktails and dinner. And uh, I know how precious and how important both those things are. So firstly, um, even as the new laptop is coming up and is being set up, I would uh, like to say the following things. Firstly, without wasting time, I must compliment, uh, you know, the KCCI on the fact that, you know, you folks uh, have such a nice custom and tradition. So, Mr. President, I was really thrilled to see that you didn't have a lighting of the lamp. I get so, so bored with the lighting of the lamp all the time, you know, and not one person but five people and each one taking turns and, you know, lighting the lamp. Um, I was happy to see that you uh, lit the correct kind of lamp. Uh, you lit uh, the lamp of thanksgiving. In terms of thanking every president, and when you really recognize an ex-president, it simply means to say that you recognize not only him, but his entire team of office bearers who did human service to KCCI. Okay, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to be speaking to you in this presentation about branding, a subject which is very close to my heart. Um, and even as this is being set up, I'm trying to, you know, buy time. Uh, I'm going to say that, you know, thank you for that very generous introduction. I get bored with that also. Uh, but the point is, uh, apart from that introduction, uh, please go back, yeah. Uh, I, I hope this is visible and everything is okay. Um, I'm going to go back to say that, you know, uh, despite saying that, um, you know, all the things that you do and you have done, I don't believe in any of them because, you know, most of the time these are flukes which happen in life. Uh, I believe in origin, and I think my origin is very close to the place I'm standing at at this point of time. My mother is from Bolar, and my father is from uh, Bijur, Mayadi, uh, Bindur, very close to this place. So it's always a pleasure coming back to my roots. I love the food here, and I never leave Mangaluru without a garbat, despite the schedule being what it is. And I'm, I, I've had a delicious garbat this afternoon. And uh, you should sometime come and see me eating a garabad. It's an experience in itself. I spend a lot of time. Those girls who come to you, they get very irritated. Because I sit for so long enjoying every scoop and every, uh, you know, bit. What am I going to talk to you about today? I'm going to talk to you about a subject called Alice in Brandland. You know Alice in Wonderland? All of you have heard of Alice in Wonderland. You've read Alice in Wonderland. Who hasn't read Alice in Wonderland? No, thankfully, everybody has read Alice in Wonderland. Uh, branding is similar, and I've used some language from there. And one of the first things that I want to say is uh, down the rabbit hole. Uh, many of you are familiar with down the rabbit hole from Alice in Wonderland. Alice goes down that chute. And uh, 
one of the first things that I want to tell each one of you is marketing is important. Do all of you believe marketing is important? Yes or no? Yeah. What else can you do? There's a marketing guy out here trying to talk to you about marketing. What else will you say? Yes. If I was a finance guy, yes, finance is important. Logistics is important. But let's say marketing is important. Why is marketing important? Marketing is important because not because of all the definitions that tell us what marketing does. Marketing is important simply because it touches each one of us intrinsically every single moment of time. I keep saying it touches us in more ways than one. You know, think of this fact. Think of this fact. There's a young man sitting out there. Okay. What's your name, dude? Huh? Ayushman. Ah, you're a dude. Okay. Uh, dude Ayushman, I'll call him that. It so happens that dude Ayushman woke up this morning and he thinks he's not interested in marketing at all. Okay? Absolutely not. Ayushman, come up here. Stand out here. Come on, show your face, man. Come, come, come. Don't be a wuss. Come along. Ayushman, Ayushman, dude Ayushman, first thing in the morning he got up. What's the first thing you did in this morning when you got up, Ayushman? I went to the gym. You went to the gym? Whoa! <laughs> Good one. But before going to the gym, Ayushman actually wore clothes also. Did you? Yeah. yeah thank you. Uh, and every piece of garment that he wore has a brand name on it. Ayushman, come here. Come here. You're wearing a shirt. What's the brand of shirt you're wearing? Uh, I don't know. Don't you don't know. That's uh, when it's a real brand. It's Peter England. Okay. Size 36. <sighs> Peter England. This brand touched him first thing in the morning. Okay. Because he had to wear a shirt. Come here, Ashman. Are you wearing a vest? No. Yeah? Vest? No. no. Okay. <laughs> Forget it. <laughs> Do you understand what I'm saying? If he's wearing a vest, he'd possibly be wearing a jockey vest. And I'll stop right there. I won't go beyond. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, you are a function of the brands that you use. And Ayushman, dude Ayushman, first thing in the morning, before going to his gym, what's the brand of your gym name? Huh? Cyborg. Cyborg Gym. Oh, who goes to Cyborg? Dude, that's a nice one. Cyborg is a brand. He goes to that brand. Before that, he wears a shirt. He wears a vest. He possibly wears 20 other things. And before that, hopefully, he's brushed his teeth in the morning. Did you? Yeah. Okay. First thing in the morning, he takes a toothbrush called Ajanta toothbrush and puts on it Pepsod and toothpaste. Unholy marriage of two different brands happening in his loo first thing in the morning and puts it into his oral cavity. Two brands touch him. Ayushman, the dude, come here. You've been touched. Come here, come here, come here. You've been one, two, three, four, five, six brands have touched him already before going to Cyborg. Even before that, he woke up and the first thing he woke up is groggily reached out to his phone. Give me a phone. He touched his phone. He touched his phone. Which brand of phone is it? It's an iPhone? Ah, iPhone 13, out it goes, he touches phone. Dirty brand from Apple. Why do I call it dirty? Because brands leave residue on your psyche. Brands are not about the physicality. They leave a residue on your psyche. How many of you possess an Apple phone? Put up your hands. Yeah, yeah. Why, guys? Why? 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 Huh? 85,000 bucks, 92,000 bucks, a lakh and 14,000 bucks, huh? When you can actually buy a phone for 20,000 bucks? Are you crazy? Yeah. People who buy brands are crazy. And people who make brands want to make people crazy. They want to build a brand craze so much so that you don't think Apple is a phone, Apple is a lifestyle and a statement. And dude out here, first thing he touched his phone, and he didn't tell us this. And the second thing he opened his WhatsApp messages. And the first message he saw on his WhatsApp message was, what's your password? No, I won't ask. <laughs> okay. Ladies, gentlemen, he got touched by a service provider called Vodafone, who is his service provider maybe. Do you understand what's happening? Airtel, the service provider, the phone, WhatsApp. Do you understand how many brands you've been touched? Lots. Thanks. Please. Ladies, gentlemen, brands are ubiquitous.
From the first thing that you do in the morning to the last thing you do in the night, you're touched by brands. I classify four kinds of countries in the world. One is called the supra-developed nation of the world. Supra-developed nations of the world, Japan, Norway, Sweden, Denmark, the Netherlands, Switzerland, six countries. In these countries, an average human being who lives in these countries is touched by 142 brands in a single day. 142 brands in a single day. Second type of country on the pyramid of countries is called the developed nation of the world. The United States of America, Germany, Italy, name them. In a developed nation, an average human being is touched by 101 brands in a single day. Third type of country below that, developing nation of the world. India is one of them. You're touched by 82 brands in a single day. If you're an average Indian. Dude is not an average Indian. <laughs> He's more like the American maybe. Or maybe, maybe, maybe the Japanese. I don't know. So you're touched by more brands. And the submerged nations of the world. Many parts of continental Africa. You're touched by less brands. The less the number of brand touches. You're touched by about 8 brands or 11 brands. Very simply. More the number of brand touches in a single day, more developed is your nation. And my dear friends, if you want to build a brand, market research. Go and market research. Market research, young man. I want to market research the toileting habits of Brazilians. You nasty man. How can you do such a thing? You can find out toothbrushing habits of Indians by going into their loo and asking them questions. But how can you find out toileting habits of Brazilians? The young man says at my institute, I've been taught. Older guy gets frustrated. He said, okay, give me a question. Question A, 60 questions you give me. I will send it out to 2,000 people. Get your answers. Young man is a troublesome man. He says, sir, never ever ask a human being a question. Never ever ask a human being a question. Do you get it? Never ever ask a human being a question. You know why? Because human beings don't answer correctly. Okay. So who's going to play uh, this game with you? I want a lady to say she's willing to play this game with me. Come on. Who's going to do it? Yeah. Anybody? 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 No? What? You're volunteering someone? Come on. Yeah. Uh, we don't have too much time. Otherwise cocktails are going to get pushed. I want a lady man. Oh, no. From there itself. Don't worry. Okay. Okay. That's you. You're participating. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. No, you just stay there. Hi. Just say hi. Hello. What's your name? Atmika. <laughs> Atmika. Listen. Atmika, you told me your name because I asked you a question. Hopefully that's your correct name. It is. I, you won't uh, uh, say anything different here. Imagine, Atmika, I asked you na your name, you told me this right now. Spontaneously, without a problem, because I look reasonably dignified and I'm speaking at this forum. Uh, but imagine this was yesterday evening and you're walking outside near Hampankatta and I came in a black car, rolled down my power windows, looked out and said, hi, what's your name? Would you have told me your name? Yeah, you would have given me the great name Mangaluru uh, Thappad, whatever you call it. Do you understand what I mean? People don't want to share names. Give me 60 questions. Will people answer correctly? Atmika. How old are you? Don't tell me that. Don't tell me that. You are aggressively young. At your age, you just might tell me your age. But believe it or not, <laughs> nobody likes to tell their real age. Huh? People ask me, what's your age? I say, first of all in my head, why is he asking me my age? And then discount it by two years. Get away with murder. Do you understand? Garbage in, garbage out. When you ask people questions, garbage in, garbage out. My dear friend, Atmika, you work, you run a business, yeah, yeah, you take a monthly salary, yeah, kind of, what's your salary, okay, <laughs> do you understand, you know, three simple stupid questions, what's your name, I won't get the correct answer, many of you have different names, many of you have E handles, different, different handles, what dude, how many handles do you have, okay, forget it, so if you look at it, you know, different, different handles, Name you don't want to tell. Age you don't want to tell. All I need to do is take your driving license and find out. But finding your driving license itself is a problem. 
salary you don't want to do you understand what i mean you don't tell these three simple stupid things why will you tell user gen attitude habits do you understand because market research of the toileting habits of brazilians is asking what you do where you do when you do with whom you do with what attitude you do do you understand if i ask you what are your toileting habits you will not answer them honestly right so this young man says i don't believe in asking people questions questions is garbage and garbage out so the young man is giving him trouble he says what do you want to do young man he says i believe that the best way of doing market research taught in my institute is the observational method of study no don't get dirty wrong ideas he didn't do that he did the next best thing he went to 62 brazilian houses paid a huge amount of reals and set up 16 mm cameras in their bathroom to watch what you do when you do where you do with whom you do with what attitude you do etc etc how long you do etc to get 62 houses they had to go to 4000 houses because who is going to allow this kind of a thing in their bathrooms but they actually allowed it the think was synchronized they would bring in tapes in the morning take out the tapes study it in mexico etc first three months data was junked because in the first three months data many of us who are married will understand this statement better when someone or something is in the house for more than three months at a stretch we tend to think that that someone or something doesn't exist at all that's exactly what happened to the cameras after 3 months they realized they thought camera is not there and they started behaving in a different manner they started doing things bindas <laughs> the next 3 months data was rich in its pickings they picked up and a one sheet market research statement was brought to the brand manager it said the following thing an average brazilian sits on the throne for 7 minutes 7 minutes if you had gone and asked them sir how long do you sit on the potty he would have said 2 minutes maggie but no 7 minutes this is not garbage this is good stuff two an average brazilian who sits on the potty for 7 minutes is bored on the potty okay three an average brazilian who sits on the potty for 7 minutes is who is bored on the potty reads on the potty reads and four at the end of the consumption occasion he uses one yard of toilet paper which we knew before any other brand manager would not have reacted but this was this guy's eureka moment he jumps up and says i want to see more of the videos warrior that he was he says i want to see more what do you want to see more sir i want to see what they are reading so they went back to the tapes and found out they were not reading books they weren't reading karl marx or philip kotler or, or star romances they were actually reading the daily newspaper and they came back and told him that 91% of people are reading daily newspapers young man gets even more excited he says go back to the tapes i want to find out what they are reading in the daily newspaper they go back and they find out that people are not reading the front page which is full of political news they are not reading the middle page which is edit page articles but at the end of brazilian newspapers there are six pages of comic strips they are reading comics why they went and asked they said light reading for the light occasion <laughs> now this entire thing gave this guy a brilliant idea he took toilet paper rolls and printed comic strips on toilet paper rolls and created a new product all together and he kept this product in the bathrooms they watched people would go and sit now they would not take the bulky newspaper with them they'll go and sit there and take it out from the roller and read and read and read and read coinciding with 7 minutes of speed time of reading they would take the paper and i don't have to explain to you what they did with it this was a brilliant product invention which came through and this was rolled out nationally after 3 years consumption went up by 76% not 20% one of the biggest marketing success brazil has ever seen my dear friends this is a classic case of how market research can be useful whether you're in a commodity whether you're in a quasi brand whether you're on a brand whether you're handling a super brand invest in market research because it's very 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 important market research done correctly of course whenever i do this case if there are no foreigners in the audience i say this if there are foreigners i don't say this i am very very 
respectful. I say if this happened in India, things would be different. An average Indian would go and sit on the throne, take it out and read, 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 and re-roll it and keep it for the next fellow to read. Okay. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, market research, every step you take, every breath you take, you know, just market research. My dear friends, what do I do? What do I do? I work with thoughts of all kinds. I'm a brand person means I work with brand thoughts. The brand is a thought. I work with thoughts of all kinds, of all shapes and sizes. Complexity one. One normal human mind has 824 brands in them. Ouch, that is a lot of brands. Complexity two. Each head has a different thought of the same brand. KCCI, 824 brands. Complexity three, brands manage brand thoughts at the back end, middle end and the front end. Interesting fact, progressively all ends today are being managed digitally. So moral of the story, you have to get digital. You cannot be a digital, away from digital kind of a person. Digital is the future. Digitalism is the new religion, my dear friends. We have had Hinduism. We have had Marxism, we have had communism, you have digitalism, new religion, okay? And guess what? People swear by this religion. All of you are digital animals, you're all on WhatsApp, which means that you're quite, quite digital, at least. But digital has as many as 29 different avatars today. How digital are you is going to be important for you and your businesses when you look at them. Branding and advertising, if you look at it, the confusion does exist. A lot of people ask me, are you an advertising person? I say, don't insult me. Okay. Now, advertising people don't like that. I'm sure some of you are advertising people here. But I said, don't insult me. What do you mean? Advertising is execution. Branding is strategy. Advertising is executing uh, an idea and taking it to the consumer. Branding is strategy. Now seriously, I'm using strategy in a very Amitabh Bachchan, baritone kind of a voice because strategy is more important than, uh, than execution. Execution any Tom, Dick and Harish can do. Branding, strategy. Completely strategy. Confusion doesn't. Branding is strategy. Imagine a dog. How many of you have dogs at home? Dog, 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 yeah, yeah. Lovely pets. Dog. The body of the dog is strategy. The tail is advertising. The dog must wag the tail. The tail must not wag the dog. So those of you who believe that you are advertising and therefore you are doing branding, you are totally, 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 totally wrong. Strategy is an investment which is a great thing for any business to do. The twain do meet. Both belong to the same science though, but they're not the same as I said. My dog analogy which I told you, strategy is the dog and advertising is the tail. The dog wags the tail, the tail must never wag the dog. Uh, well, let's journey then through the rabbit hole of new branding. Uh, some of the thoughts I'll, I'll throw out, I've kept an alarm to go off when I've finished my 45 minutes. Now I'll tell you how long I'm speaking, okay? That's a lot of time. Uh, so when my alarm goes off, I'll wrap up and say goodbye to you with the last few slides. Some new thoughts, some new trends that we'll see in our lifetimes, in your lifetime and my lifetime, forgetting the past and looking ahead. Because old branding is dead. Anything that you learned about branding in the old days is over. And old days is 2022 or before, okay? 2022, it was so, so yesterday. So, so yesterday. Okay. Okay, if you look at it, these are bumper stickers. Brands go berserk. Brands are going berserk in our lives. In your life, they go from the sublime to the ridiculous. People aren't trusting brands enough, uh, folks, nowadays, because people tend to say brands lie. And do brands lie? Of course, they do lie. The honest shirt. You know, there was something called the honest shirt, which was from Madura garments, which said the honest shirt. How can a shirt be honest, yeah? Be honest. How can a shirt be honest? Well, honest shirt. The tea that makes you levitate. You drink this tea, the whole sofa floats up. Huh? Nice. The tea that makes you feel light. What? Levitate? Many people try doing that. Okay. The toothpaste with oxygen in it. This is my favorite. This is a multinational brand. I used to work for that multinational once upon a time. You know what the brand says? Toothpaste with oxygen in it. Because people are fed up. In the beginning, there was plain old white toothpaste. 
you put an usp you said let me have yellow toothpaste green toothpaste yellow toothpaste did not work because white toothpaste makes your teeth white yellow toothpaste makes your teeth ha ah, it won't work then they said two colors toothpaste one white one red ha huh? signal toothpaste trident three colors people nobody has tried the tiranga as yet but you know because they can't do that they're not allowed to do that but the point is people are crazy and then somebody said why should toothpaste only be opaque let me make it transparent they made it look like water water color toothpaste did not work it looked like water then they put color blue toothpaste and i was handling one of the brands close up i was brand manager on brand close up and i still remember the line we put together close up is for close ups you understand yeah yeah nice uh then they said put something else into it put clove in it huh promise toothpaste nice kya aapki toothpaste mein namak hai do you understand that you know oh what else can you put you put carbon in the toothpaste what else charcoal charcoal in the toothpaste you put more what else will you do now they say the toothpaste that helps you fall in love hmm? why what's wrong with it of course it can help you fall in love. if you can have an honest shirt a toothpaste can help you fall in love and then comes this naya toothpaste there is oxygen in the toothpaste so oh, i should tell you the advertising it shows a dating situation hmm? how many of you have ever dated in your lives put up your hands honestly eh? come on why only this brand come on honestly <laughs> one table only none of you you dateless diaries please no dating is normally something which used to happen in the old days between a boy and a girl <laughs> boy sitting here girl sitting here in advertising terms we show the dating table to be a round table it cannot be a square table sharp edges is not good for love round so soft smooth round table in the middle there is a candle boy is sitting here girl is sitting here boy is looking into the girl's eye girl is looking into the boy's eye that's how it happens before you're married <laughs> boy looking into girl's eye girl looking and the girl opens her mouth to talk there's a candle in the middle candle goes book you know why there is oxygen in the toothpaste that she used to brush her teeth in the morning my dear friends i've gone to rural i do a lot of work in rural areas i've gone to pandapura and i found the people actually trying it out they go brush their teeth come in keep a candle and ha ah, ah, ha the candle is going away do you understand what i mean my dear friends the rid ridiculous from the sublime to the ridiculous marketing people lie marketing people create stories your stories must not be such blatant lies can you think of more there are lots of examples you can go on and on the brand is a lie my dear friends hashtag the brand is a lie a bundle of carefully placed lies if there aren't enough lies in your advertising your advertising will be considered to be boring if there are too many lies in your advertising it is considered to be ridiculous so brands lie it's an optimal set too few brand is boring too many the brand is incredible every brand that you use has a solid liquid and gas solid is real things liquid is neither here there gas all of us know <laughs> you look at the advertising campaigns of many a political party and you will understand the solid the liquid and gas look at every budget that is released there is solid liquid gas you should be able to distinguish between the three and that's very very important okay trivial pursuit is a pursuit you know people are crazy they are advertising led people are talking like advertising they think and walk and talk like advertising looking for meaning in the meaningless you know people look for meaning in the meaningless things even take the mantra vari recently mantra got into trouble and murugan idli got into trouble with their logos i put their logos out there one is mantra the other is murugan idli poor people they got into trouble it's like the ink blot test was done on them and both of them had to change their their logos how silly is that looking for the meaningless 
in the meaningful every woke story is put to sleep today the death of patience my dear friends every consumer has got two currencies your consumer has two currencies if you are a builder your consumer has two currencies he has got money in one hand and time in another pocket money is something which is easier to handle because money comes and money goes you can go and earn money but time you can never go and earn time you cannot go to a shop and say i lost 45 minutes in harish bijur's address at the kcci can you top it up for me you died 45 minutes in my address my dear friends i'm just about coming to another 10 minutes and i'll close 45 minutes you died in my address yeah you died why only you i also died i can't get that time back so would you be careful where you go which talk you go to who you listen to where you waste your time what is more important money can be earned back time can't be earned back and that's a very important dimension any brand must look at whether you're builder or whoever you are money and time the dimension the i gen is here in fact forget that story because i don't have enough time to talk about this the rise of digitalism i spoke to you it is a new religion you don't know where your body ends and the digital device begins do you know that you don't know where your body ends and where the digital device begins a lot of time you don't know hmm the amount of time you that you spend on your whatsapp messages <laughs> ridiculous you got whatsapp anxiety are my phone nothing has come through is signal there or not there do you understand what's happening lot of anxiety we are totally digitally sold new literacy is here and if you look at it we live an open life privacy is dead thanks to the digital life and i'm going to close shortly digi living today is a promiscuous life okay digi living all of you are digital animals okay i'll give you an example my phone my phone sleeps with my refrigerator means it connects with my refrigerator i've got a uh, intelligent refrigerator an i refrigerator and many of you might have it it speaks to my phone i know exactly i've got 24 eggs in the rack the moment it becomes two eggs my refrigerator talks to the shop which is downstairs in my building and orders 24 eggs my wife and i both work when we come back at 8 pm if either of us is in town uh, 24 eggs are at the doorstep my refrigerator has ordered the eggs and paid for the eggs also because i have authorized the chip i still don't trust technology too much i have authorized it only 3000 rupees because you know you don't know what it will spend on tomorrow somebody hacks in my eggs are there my phone sleeps with my refrigerator my refrigerator sleeps with my grocery store at the basement my grocery store sleeps with 40000 customer phones because their phone numbers are interacting with him my customer sleep with credit cards everybody who's online has credit cards the credit card data gets populated and repopulated my credit card sleeps with my bank because every credit card in india is issued by a bank my bank sleeps with ikra and ikra knows all the data that needs to be known ikra sleeps with my insurance company because you know insurance companies also use ikra my insurance company sleeps with my car if i have a tata motors car my insurance company wants to know my driving habits my car sleeps with tata motors if it is from tata motors my tata motor sleeps with aadhar because every time i go anybody goes to buy a aadhar you have to show and my aadhar sleeps with my pan card because they told us you have to link both otherwise you will be in trouble uh, people like that my pan sleeps with my jeweler because every time i go to buy jewelry more than 2.5 lakhs worth of rupees i have to show my pan card and my jeweler sleeps with facebook because he's got accounts on facebook and guess what facebook sleeps with cambridge analytica if you really ask me data is promiscuous gone is privacy if you think you lead a private life <laughs> tell me another think 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 huh? and guess what apps are ruling today hmm? apps are ruling today how many of you are on tinder here put up your hands what <laughs> suddenly the hands got restricted and tied okay okay forget it then i won't talk about it but since nanam you say because i have a lot of interesting stuff to talk to you about that okay so nobody knows all this 
uh, think, who do you sleep with really? You sleep with data. And guess what? Data is the new alcohol. It's not the new oil. It's the new alcohol. Because it reaches all kinds of places and it creates all kinds of issues. My dear friends, I'm not going to talk about the SOMO, Clolytic area, etc. because I've got another two minutes to go. Not even the web and the metaverse, not important. Sensor-led branding, not important. I just kept these in as fillers. And I think it's extremely important for us to talk about the fact that in some, branding and marketing can be sublime. Branding can also be ridiculous. You must invest in branding. Mangaluru needs branding. Time to be rude then. Uh, society gets the kind of branding it deserves most of the time, okay? So it's very, very important for marketers to get branding going and take the next step forward. Okay, lastly, to say goodbye, I'm going to show you some advertising, okay? Uh, I've kept some four minutes for this. God, even God believes in branding, my dear friends. Crazy, crazy. Every God is a brand name, actually, if you really think about it, okay? And there are passionate groups of people who believe in different brands, okay? Two million brands, possible. Uh, but this is a different kind of branding. This comes from the Church of Singapore. The Church of Singapore, this is a real case study, had a serious problem. It so happens that Singapore is such an aggressive country. You know what really happens is people don't go to church on Sundays. Because Sunday is part of the weekend. They do all kinds of things, but they never go to church. The Church of Singapore had a serious problem. Only 6% of people were attending church on Sundays the whole day. They used to have three masses. Only 6% of people were attending. And the Church of Singapore said, let's talk to the set of people who should come to us. And they took advertising. And these are full page advertising and hoardings that they took. I'll tell you what the results were. After only 6% of people were going to church, I'll tell you the result right now. 81% of people started going to church after they saw this advertising. So advertising can be efficient and effective as well. Here's one. Please don't drink and drive. You're not quite ready to meet me yet. God. Full holding. Could you imagine the price of air if it were brought to you by another supplier? God. Telling you, you can't make air, dude. I am supreme. When you're weary feeling small, when tears are in your eyes, I will dry them all. Simon and Garfunkel. Ditto. God. Hmm? Who can do this? God. What do I have to do to get your attention? Take out an ad in the paper? God. Yeah, this was an ad in the paper. Earthlings, don't treat me like an alien. God. I was thinking of making the world black and white. Then I thought, nah. The beauty of the fact that we human beings are created with such color. Lovely. If you miss the sunrise I made for you today, never mind, I'll make you another one tomorrow. Repetitiveness of nature. Nice. How can you possibly be a self-made man? I specifically recall creating you. <laughs> Putting you down to what you are, you small entity. If you think the Mona Lisa is stunning, you should look at my masterpiece in the mirror. God. Hmm? Don't forget your umbrella. I might water the plants today. God. I think you're the most beautiful person in the world. Okay, so I'm biased. God. Brought in parishioners to go back to church. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for your time, for your energy, for your participation. Uh, I know I will not have time to take questions here today and therefore I'm leaving an email ID for you which is harishbijur at hotmail.com All you digital animals, you are welcome to uh, write to me here with any questions. If you say you were at the KCCI event of this evening, I'll promise to write to you. Otherwise, we'll catch up on social media, LinkedIn, Instagram, Twitter, wherever you and I live. Thank you. Such a pleasure being here. Thank you.